Hi, this is Evan Kopelson, and I'd like to tell you about the Group Coaching in Personal Growth and Transformation series that's part of my Empowerment Coaching program. Now, what I'd like to tell you about today is a weekly ongoing coaching program that takes 16 weeks, that's four months, and it's going to be sequential. Each course, each class builds on the prior week so that we take you from the beginning from being completely stuck and we move through all the different roadblocks and obstacles so that you understand better what being stuck means, how to get unstuck, and ultimately how to step into your own empowerment, authentic empowerment, and be able to achieve anything you want to achieve without self-doubt and without worry and without setbacks. And when you have setbacks, being able to confidently and gracefully deal with those and move through that energy so that nothing can hold you back. And not coming from a place of bravado, but coming from a place of authentic confidence because you'll feel grounded and you'll feel centered and you're living your life based on your inner principles and your core values. And these principles and values are going to enable you to achieve amazing things in your life. So let me tell you a little bit about this group coaching program starting in month one, the first four weeks. Now in week number one, we're gonna attack the first topic, which is getting from stuck to unstuck and what that means. I've already spoken a little bit about that. In week number two, we'll dive a little deeper and we'll talk about self-sabotage and how to stop it. And then in week three and four, we're gonna drill down pretty deep, okay? In week three, we're gonna deal with something that's called, am I going crazy or is the world just a mad, scary place? And how do I deal with that feeling? Okay, so that is very personal. We're gonna talk about a lot of the negativity and the negative messages and the fear messages we get through the news and television. We're gonna deal with looking around the world at the pain and suffering in the world. And if you're a highly sensitive person, you may find that even just the awareness of a lot of the things that happen in other parts of the world and even right here in our country, make it almost impossible to have a clear head. Your heart is literally breaking over the suffering that's going on and the feeling of helplessness and not knowing how to deal with it, maybe not having the money to contribute to causes that you believe in. And this is a huge contributor to feeling stuck and disempowered and we're gonna deal with that in week three. Then in week four, we're gonna tackle another topic called Idle Hands Do the Devil's Work. Now this is not a religious topic. We're not talking about the devil or Jesus. We're talking about you and we're talking about the two polarities between being inert and sedentary and not focused on positive productive things and thoughts and how that leads to a pattern of being stuck and feeling helpless and wasting time seeking pleasure and avoiding pain. And then on the other end of the polarity is what I call very busy disease. And that's when you're just running like a hamster on a treadmill and you're busy from sun up to sundown and you're serving others all day long and everything you do seems urgent and you don't know how to find a minute to yourself. So we're gonna deal with both of those polarities in week four because by definition, if you're anywhere near either of those polarities, you're out of balance. And this whole group coaching series is about finding balance. So you can see in month number one, in those four weeks, how empowering it's gonna to be to go from stuck to understanding all of the different ways that we get stuck and how to become unstuck and some of the pitfalls involved in either being too busy and not focused on the right things. It's gonna be very important if you're feeling stuck in your life, if you're dealing with constant challenges and setbacks and things that you don't expect that knock you off track when you feel like you're finally getting your momentum, this coaching program is gonna be very helpful to you. Okay, so let's talk about week number five through eight now. This is month number two in the group coaching series on personal growth and transformation. 
So in week number four, we just finished up with Idle Hands Do the Devil's Work, a non-religious look at that. And in week number five, we're gonna deal with your personal demons. Okay, again, this is not a religious discussion. When I use words like demons and devil, I'm not talking religion. I'm talking about all the voices inside you that contribute to that chatter in the mind that can very highly contribute to feelings of being stuck and feeling like you're going on a treadmill and that you're not able to find your way to a productive momentum. So we're gonna deal with identifying those voices inside you and figuring out which ones are disempowering and assigning personalities or names to those. It's gonna be a very useful process because when you can look at the voices inside your head, almost as different individuals that you can talk to, you can actually begin to have productive dialogue with them and they can ultimately become helpful to you. And that's what we're dealing with in month two of this group coaching program. So in week six, we're gonna move into how to be an army of one. Okay, again, I'm speaking in metaphors. This isn't a military discussion, but once we identify the voices inside us, we can start to call them to service in terms of serving us as an individual. But each one of us is made up of all of the voices and thoughts inside our head, a lot of which were put in there when we were younger by family and teachers and friends and whatnot. And we're gonna learn to harness the power of each one of those voices and give it a useful task because then it's gonna to wanna to come to service and serve you and you're gonna be amazed at the shift in energy that happens when you take a voice inside you and instead of demonizing it, you create a soldier out of it and you give it a task and it reports back to you and you hold it accountable. Okay, so that leads to week number seven, doing surveillance on your habits and patterns and finding a way to assign a soldier to each task that you need in order to grow past where you're currently stuck. Finally, in week number eight, the end of month two, we're gonna round it out with singing in harmony. That's getting all of your inner voices aligned. So they're no longer demons, they're no longer soldiers. They're now a chorus of voices singing in harmony, aligned with your inner purpose, your mission, your core values. And that's gonna make you feel like the army of one, the chorus of one, where everything inside you serves your purpose of growth and transformation. So I think you can see already how in month number one to month number two, even talking about this feels more energized, more positive, and how much growth is gonna happen for you if you're feeling stuck and you go all the way through those first two months of coaching. Now in month number three, we're gonna drill down even deeper and we're gonna talk about unexpected setbacks and how to deal with them. Okay, so on your path of empowerment, you're not going to go in a straight line from where you are to where you wanna be. It's gonna be a lot more like jagged lines with setbacks and it's gonna happen, okay? And you're gonna have to learn how to deal with those, expect and anticipate those, and how to move through these unexpected challenges and setbacks with grace and with an understanding of the process of growth and how to get through those times in a way that's gonna be most empowering for you. Now in week 10, we're gonna deal with addictions and the darker part of life. So even if you're not an addict yourself, chances are you know somebody who is, and this is gonna be really important for you to understand how low people can go, how low it's possible for the human spirit to go, and how possible it is to take even those dark times and experiences and lift yourself up and move through them. Okay, this isn't an addiction recovery program, but this is essential to understanding the process of personal transformation from stuck to unstuck, and we're dealing with a lot of the issues that happen. So it's gonna be really important for you, either in your own journey or your ability to be more compassionate and understanding and helpful to your loved ones to go through week 10 in the addictions. Now, week 11, we're gonna deal with the breath and the power of the breath to change your perspective on life. 
I'm going to show you some techniques from the yoga world that are going to help you breathe in an awareness of breath and understanding that the breath is key to life and without the breath there is no life. So I'm going to show you different ways to breathe that are going to help you understand the body that you live in a little better and help you go inward feeling safe and secure in a way that you can explore the unknown parts of yourself in an empowering way. And that leads to week number 12, which is going to be strength training. Now that's going to be fun. We're going to talk about exercise and I'm going to give you some exercises to do. This isn't a physical training program. And yet at the same time, as you're growing towards your empowerment and stepping into your empowerment, you're going to need to use strength training on a regular basis so you feel more grounded, balanced, connected with the earth energy and connected with the power in your own body. Again, this isn't a bravado thing. This is a very authentic part of who you are, learning what your body is capable of and whether it's sports or exercise, simple push-ups or different yoga poses. We're going to get into different ways that you can explore your authentic strength. So now look back at week number one, being stuck and go all the way through to the end of month number three, that's week 12, and feel the energy and the inspiration in how good it'll feel to get through all of those topics and be ready for tying it up in month number four, that's weeks number 13 through 16. Okay, in the final month of this 16 week training, we're gonna deal with other topics that have to do with living in your body. We're gonna deal with flexibility in week number 13 and how important flexibility and stretching is to a healthy life and the analogies between being flexible in your body and being flexible in the world. And you'll be surprised how many analogies there really are. In the next week, week 14, we're gonna talk about shapes and playing in shapes. Now you may think this is hippy dippy stuff, but by the time you get here, trust me, you're gonna understand your body better and you're gonna understand how being in different shapes affects your state of mind. And I'm gonna show you different shapes that you can move into and breathe in and play around in that are gonna help you feel more freedom in your life and what this is going to do for you as you continue on the empowerment spectrum, on the continuum towards empowerment, you're going to feel more freedom, you're going to have more creative thoughts flowing, and that's going to be really, really valuable to you to understand the importance of shapes in your life and the world around you and the world inside of you. Finally, in weeks 15 and 16, we're going to deal with the fundamental concepts of balance and then expansion. So in the first week, week 15, we're going to deal with balance. I'm actually going to get into a couple of balancing poses that you can try. And that's from the yoga world. Again, it's going to be very helpful to you to understand how to bring yourself into balance when you're out of balance and the importance of practicing balancing poses in your life. And again, how important that is to practice those things physically. And then you're going to see the benefits unfold in your life when you're not practicing on the mat. Uh, in the yoga world, they call that yoga off the mat because the stuff that you do on the mat and you practice day after day has redounding effects in the rest of your life. And we're going to get into that in week 15. And again, you're only going to get to week 15 if you make it through weeks 1 through 14. I don't start programs like that because it's essential that all of the mental work that we do in those first 14 weeks lead sequentially to these physical practices so that you understand more how it fits into your journey. Finally, in week 16, it's the icing on the cake. It's when you're ready to expand and move into service and start giving of yourself in ways that are aligned with your newfound freedom, your newfound strength and flexibility, the new grace that flows through you and your new understanding of yourself, of the voices inside of you that are singing in harmony now instead of disempowering you. And this 16 week group coaching program in personal growth and transformation is going to help you set the stage so that you can take advantage of the other trainings that I offer in terms of building websites and using online tools 
to actually create the business of your dreams or to help you grow your brand to the next level. All these things work together because without this fundamental set of tools of your personal empowerment, the rest of the stuff is just technical training and it's meaningless, frankly. When you're aligned with your core values, when you're living in your principles, everything you do is going to shine with the energy and the resonance of that. You're gonna attract more people who are interested in the energy you're putting out and your life's gonna unfold in beautiful, magical ways. Okay, so how do you sign up for this group coaching program? Let me tell you about it. How much does it cost? This is a four month sequence of $97 a month. That means that you'll click the button that says sign up and you'll go to PayPal and it'll be a recurring payment four times for $97 each. Now you can cancel at any time, but there's no partial refunds within any month. So the reason I do that is to keep you accountable to the fact that you're investing in your personal growth. And when you put down that $97, it means you're gonna show up every week, you're gonna watch that webinar, you're gonna be involved, you're gonna take part in the personal group, in that private group on Facebook, where you're gonna be able to build the community with the others and me, and we're gonna be able to help you internalize and actualize these teachings in your own life. So each month for four months, it'll be a $97 auto pay. Again, you can cancel at any time, but at the end of four months, it stops. You don't get charged for a fifth month. There's no more payments. The program is over. This is a limited 16 week course in your personal growth and transformation. So I encourage you to sign up for this if you wanna move through the energy of being stuck, if you wanna get unstuck and move through the topics we've talked about. It's gonna be very empowering for you. You're going to have personal contact with me right away. As soon as I get notification from PayPal that your payment is cleared, I'm going to contact you within two business days, probably sooner, and we're gonna have a personal talk before we even get started in the group. I'm gonna personally connect with you so that I know who you are, I get to know why you're taking the course, and you can tell me privately before we get started any concerns that you have, and I wanna put you at ease that this is going to be a safe environment to explore things inside yourself that frankly might be scary or you might be reticent to do in front of a group. So again, I look forward to seeing you in this group coaching program. Go ahead and click that sign up now button, complete your payment over on PayPal, and I'll be in touch with you personally, and I can't wait to get started. Thank you.